Well, well, well. So it looks like Figma are also releasing the action figure of Power from Chainsaw Man. The pre-orders just went live earlier today, yesterday, depending on the time zone that you're in. And she's going to retail for around 9,800 yen. And it releases in August 2023. Now, if you do buy this figure from Good Smart Company directly, you will get a bonus accessory part, which is going to be her blood scythe. But the general accessories that this figure comes with is going to be alternate faces, the cat, which I don't remember from the anime or the manga. I'm behind on the anime, but I don't remember it in the manga. You get the blood blades, you get the blood mallet, and a small version as well, I think. And then, of course, hand parts. And yes, the, the Figma stand. Uh, Pretty good figure, pretty good package overall, a little bit on the pricey side. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that they've announced this uh, because obviously we know that the SH Figure Arts are also doing Chainsaw Man figures. If you haven't seen that Chainsaw Man video I've done before, we kind of talk about the Figma version of Chainsaw Man versus the SH Figure Arts one. Long story short, the SH Figure Arts one looks way, way superior. Here though, now it's not exactly fair comparison because the SH Figure Arts version of Power was just on display at Tamashi Nation's 2022 Tokyo event. So it's not, we don't have promo pictures of it. So it's a little bit unfair to kind of compare at this stage. I'm guessing that one was just still very early work in progress. That said, I still think it's going to end up looking very, very similar when it actually does come out, if it does come out. Now for me, at this kind of stage, right, like knowing this, I still prefer the Figma here. I didn't think the GAC, that was the case with Chainsaw Man, as I said. Uh, but this one, I like the kind of silhouette of power from the Figma. I think it looks nicer, cleaner. It just looks sharper. I like the colors a little bit more as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I also like that it doesn't necessarily break apart with all the kind of articulated shoulders that the SH Figure seems to be having. Uh, again, that's probably because I don't think power needs that much kind of range of motion that Chainsaw Man Denji needed. That's why I'm leaning towards SH Figure Arts with this. So I think, yeah, even if the SH Figure Arts has better articulation and range of motion, I don't think it's necessary, right? So for me at this stage, yes, the Figma power doesn't look too bad. I think it looks pretty compelling as a product. Like I said, though, it is a bit expensive, 9,800 yen. Uh, I think that's with tax. I can't remember. And of course, the, the, you got you got to consider shipping uh, to wherever you are located. Me being in the UK, shipping is going to be a little bit extra, right? Uh, but yeah, it's just interesting to see now that you've kind of got a choice here uh, for not just Chainsaw Man, but also now for power. And it could end up expanding to additional characters uh, down the road as well. So that kind of remains to be seen. At least we know for SH Figarts, they're doing uh, Katana Man. So we don't know if Figma are going to follow up with the same character, additional characters. Uh, but there are Nendoroids from Good Smile Company. So there is that if you're into those kind of figures too. But this is just something I wanted to raise, talk about and kind of get early kind of comments on, on what you're thinking at this stage of even if the SH Figure Arts one still looks as it does with the on display pick, are you still going to go with that one? Considering scale, price, release date. You know, if we talk about release date, by the way, Chainsaw Man SH Figure Arts is coming out sooner uh, than the Figma version. Figma one, I think for Chainsaw Man is also late 2023 and SH Figure Arts is in like April. And same with this power, it's August 2023. And if Bandai release power uh, on the SH figure sooner, who knows? That might even beat this release date as well. Plus, this is also kind of how Figma do end up delaying some of their figures. So there's that potential scenario as well. But in general, it's cool to see that, you know, two very cool manufacturers, very good manufacturers, generally speaking, are making uh, figures for, uh, you know, the current in-trend popular uh, anime manga out there. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know if you're planning to pick up the Figma or going to wait it out for the SH Figure Arts. Planning to get both because you guys are rich. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. In the meantime, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one.